गुड मॉर्निंग सेकंड क्लास मैंने टेस्ट में आपको जो ट्रिपल बन करवाया था उसमें कई टॉपिक थे हमारे एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन ओके स्टूडेंट्स तो आज हम उस चैप्टर को उसको इजी में करेंगे एडिशन इज ए एक्सपेंडेड फॉर्म एडिशन टू डिजिट नंबर तो एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन को हम आज इजी में करेंगे लेट्स स्टार्ट The monkey is having a donut party. Can you quickly tell how many donuts he has? You have about half a minute. Your time starts now. That wasn't very easy, right? Munchu says he will make it a bit easier for you to count. He has put ten donuts on each stick. Now, can you count them? There are ten, twenty, thirty, forty, forty-one, forty-two, and forty-three donuts. Counting large number of objects becomes quick and easy when they are grouped in tens. First, count the tens. Next, count the leftover ones. Then, add the tens and ones together. Four tens and three ones is the same as forty plus three. Forty plus three equals forty-three. Can you see how a number can be written in different forms? This is the sender form. This is the expanded form, and this is the place value form. It's time to practice writing numbers in different forms. Look at the picture and complete the number story. For example, if ten rabbits fit in a box and there is one, will be left out. Then altogether there are ten plus one that equals eleven rabbits. Click start to try some examples on your own. Thirty-six can be written as thirty 
plus 6. Now it is easy to add. First add the tens and then add the ones. 40 plus 30 equals 70 and 3 plus 6 equals 9. 70 plus 9 equals 79. So there are 79 donuts altogether. Let's practice adding in tens. Manchu and Fogu both want to eat donuts. Manchu wants 22 and Fogu wants 11. How many is 22 plus 11? 22 equals 20 plus 2. 11 equals 10 plus 1. Adding the tens, we get 30. And adding the ones, we get 3. 30 plus 3 equals 33. Now you can try adding by tens and ones. Click start. is 25 plus 34. Good job. Next question is... How many is 37? Plus twenty one. Thirty seven plus twenty one in the hour, seven or one eight, three or two five, fifty eight. Good job. Next question is How many is fifteen plus forty three? Good job. Next question is How many is sixty three plus thirty four? Sixty three or thirty four together four three seven six or three nine ninety seven. Great work. Suppose Manchu and Fogo have 75 donuts in all. If Manchu takes 34 from 75, then how many will be left? Here we have to find how many is 75 minus 34. 75 equals 7 tens and 5 ones. And 34 equals 3 tens and 4 ones. So from 7 tens and 5 ones, we must subtract 3 tens and 4 ones. That leaves 4 tens and 1 one, which equals 41. If Frodo takes 20 from 41, then how many will be left? We have to find how many is 41 minus 20. Here, from 4 tens and 1 1, we must subtract 2 tens and 0 ones. That leaves 
two tens and one one, which equals twenty one. Time to practice subtracting in tens. How many is sixty four minus twelve? Good job. How many is twenty nine minus twenty seven? Twenty nine is twenty seven. Get the two left and get the one. Good job. How many is ninety eight minus seventy six? Good job. How many is fifty-three minus forty-two? Fifty-three is a forty-two minus three is a two plus one five is a four plus one eleven. The strength of the forty is eleven, sir. Time to test your addition and subtraction skills. It is easy and quick to count large numbers of objects by grouping in tens. Add by adding the tens and the ones separately, then adding the sums. And subtract by subtracting the tens and ones separately. Then add the difference. Okay, students, we have addition and subtraction in DC. Addition in two digit है. अब हम उसको discuss करेंगे. Addition of two digit numbers. We are at the farmhouse to meet Sam, and he looks very happy today. Hey, Sam, is there something special about today? Aha! It is the fifth of June today, the World Environment Day. On this day, we plant trees and plants. So, Sam, what are your plans for today? Sam has to collect some saplings of fruit trees that he will plant at his school. Let's help him do that. Sam selects 46 mango saplings and 28 banana saplings. How many saplings does Sam select in all? To find the answer, we have to add 46 and 28. We always start adding from the ones column. Adding six laid in the ones column, we get fourteen. The number fourteen has four at the ones place, so we write four in the ones column with the answer. Next, we place one from 
the ten states in number 14 as carryover in the tens column of the sum. Now we add the carryover one to the numbers in the tens column. Adding the carryover one to the numbers four and two in the tens column, we get seven. So we write seven in the tens column of the answer. So, if Sam selects 46 mango saplings and 28 banana saplings, then he selects 74 saplings of fruit trees in all. Sam selects 24 rose saplings, 35 marigold saplings, and 36 daisy saplings. How many saplings of flowering plants does Sam select in all? To find the answer, we have to add 34, 35, and 36. As you know, we always start adding from the ones column. Adding 4, 5, and 6 in the ones column, we get 15. The number 15 has 5 at the ones place, so we write 5 in the ones column of the answer. We place 1 from the tennis place in the number 15 as carryover in the tennis column of the sum. Now we add the carryover 1 to the numbers in the tennis column. Adding the carryover 1 to the numbers 2, 3, and 3 in the tennis column, we get 9. So we write 9 in the tennis column of the others. So, if Sam selects 24 rose saplings, 35 marigold saplings and 36 daisy saplings, then he selects 95 saplings of flowering plants in all. Sam has taken a lot of saplings to plant in his school. You also remember to plant a tree on the next 5th of June and make your surroundings green. Fill in the blanks with correct numbers by clicking the numbers on the number pad.
स्टूडेंट्स स्टे होम स्टे सेफ टेक केयर बेटा तो ये था आपका डिजी में